Uh, we are now delighted to welcome the executive producer of this program, the one and only uh, Kenny Chesney. Kenny, thank you so much for making time. What, what, a, what a thrill to have you on this program. Uh, Paul, thank you. It's an honor to be here. I enjoy your show. Um, I, I, I'm thrilled to be a part of it, man. Thanks for having me. Well, it's a pretty obvious question, uh, and I, I know the answer because uh, I, know, I know your love of John Ward and growing up uh, a Tennessee Vol fan, but, but yeah. take us through uh, you know, putting this thing together and, 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 and everything has to start where? Well, obviously it did start with my, my love of Tennessee football and John Ward. Um, I, I grew up just outside of Knoxville, and it was during a time, as you know, uh, before we, you know, the Southeastern Conference had – it's on network. It was before we could consume sports like we do now. And so if, if, if Keith Jackson didn't come with a network to your town, you really didn't get to see your game or unless you went, unless you heard one of these personalities call a game for you. And my guy was John Ward, and he was such a cult hero for the University of Tennessee. And when we got approached to make this film, I, I, I just jumped at the chance because I'm not going to say it's a lost art, but it's a fading one because the guys that do it today are really great. I think Bob Kessling does an amazing job for University of Tennessee calling football and basketball. But it was during a time where it's literally all we had. And the guys that called the game throughout the Southeastern Conference were, were bigger than life. And they made the game bigger than life. That's where it started. Well, Kenny, uh, speaking of John Ward, when I was in school at UT, uh, we, we had a, a, some Tuesday night, we had a John Ward contest, uh, who could do the best John Ward imitation. And I'll never forget, <laughs> I, there, there were hundreds of people there, and I looked in the back, and there was John Ward. Somebody had asked him to come by, and he, he slipped out before anybody could talk to him. But, I mean, he, he appreciated that, as you well know. You, you, I mean, he's, he's one of the all-timers. He's one of the all-time greats. And, you know, I was watching your show, and, uh, I saw underneath, you know, who would you have narrate your life? And John Ward would definitely be one of the people I would want to narrate my life. Um, I got the opportunity to, and the thrill to meet John Ward uh, when I did a film uh, for Conrad Holloway, uh, on Conrad Holloway's life, you know, as far as the Tennessee life anyway. Uh, we interviewed John Ward, and that I was, it was as if I had met, you know, the, 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 my biggest hero ever, just because... <laughs> Uh, he, he was just such a great storyteller and, wh I, and what he meant to me and my family. You know, when, when I was a kid, I, I would be out in the backyard listening to the Tennessee game, and I would listen to John Ward call these plays, and I was trying, me and my buddies were out in the backyard trying to reenact what John was calling. And we were wearing the tearaway number seven Tennessee jerseys. And, you know, a lot of these guys that we got to, to interview – it was really interesting to see how much if, the effect that the guys before them had on them, just like John Ward had on me. We made them listen to, you know, I was watching uh, a few minutes ago, how, and I love that you showed that, like, we made everybody we interviewed listen to, to certain plays. They did the same to me. We did it the same to Peyton Manning. Uh, to everybody we interviewed, we made them listen. To a, a, a play and to see the people's reaction and it just allows them to relive those moments and it was just really really um it was really th really thrilling to watch you know because guys like john ward and uh larry munson and and you know still eli gold today there's so many people i think people forget that they bring families together I, I remember me and my father driving around knoxville on a saturday afternoon and we didn't go to the game but you know, we'd almost stop on the side of the road and listen to John Ward. And so it was, uh, it was just, it was just one of my, it was a thrilling project to make. I think some people, uh, Kenny, obviously know, know a little bit, about, a lot about your background, not a little, but, uh, you know, you grew up uh, in that area, you played high school football, and you obviously developed an affinity right. for, for Tennessee. But how did that ultimately shape what you are now world famous for? Uh, as one of the great uh, country music stars uh, ever. Well, <laughs> well, thank you. I, I, th I think that, you know, 
like anybody, I think my background really, uh, the way I was brought up had a lot to do with my work ethic, um, had a lot to do with, I don't know, just, just the, the way you, you treat people out on the road. And, and uh, I, 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 I owe that to my family. You know, my mom gave me the music. My father gave me the love of sports. And I, I love both of them for that. Uh, but like I said, you know, the first time I, I, I um, one thing that really, uh, really touches me is, is, is I remember as a kid, John Ward built up the idea of Tennessee football so much. And the first time that I walked into Neyland, to Neyland Stadium, it was bigger than life. I mean, it was unbelievable. And I think that I think it was a Tennessee Notre Dame game. And my dad took me there and I'd spent most of my childhood up to then listening to John Ward on the radio. And it was just it was just an, an unbelievable moment of my life. And it changed my life. And to think that you fast forward, I don't know, 30 something years that I would actually play that football stadium and and, and be a part of the history of that place with music. If you would have told me as a child when I went into that stadium that that was going to happen, I, I would have bet everything against it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.